Installing a CDEC non-skid kit is a relatively easy process. As long as you follow the instructions in this video, you should be able to achieve a satisfactory installation every time. Today, we'll be installing CDEC Fotique pads on the swim platform and walkthrough of a Monterey 214 SS. The only tools you'll need are a sharp razor blade, 2 inch masking tape, acetone, and some clean rags. It is absolutely essential to begin with a clean, dry surface. All dirt and grime must be removed. In the case of new boats, all mold release and wax must be completely removed or the pads will not adhere properly to the deck. The boat in this video has an existing molded in non-skid pattern. Using liberal amounts of acetone, scrub the surface in alternating directions so that you can clean all sides of the molded in pattern. Allow the surface to dry completely before going on to the next step. Now that you have a clean dry surface, lay out all of the pads in the desired position. Verify fit and determine the exact orientation in which you wish the pads to be installed. Choose the first pad that you intend to install. In this case, we will be working from left to right across the swim platform. Turn the pad over so that the paper backing is facing up. With a sharp razor, carefully cut the paper backing down the center. Be sure to completely cut through the paper backing, but do not cut into the pad. Along the cut you just made, Peel up an inch or so of the paper backing on either side of the cut line. Turn the pad back over and reposition it exactly where you want it installed. Firmly secure one side of the pad to the boat deck using the 2 inch masking tape. Taping one side prevents the pad from moving and shifting position. Now, carefully lift up on the side that is not taped down and begin pulling back the paper backing from the center working towards the outer edge. Apply firm pressure to the pad working across the surface from the center out so as not to trap air underneath the pad. Be careful not to pull on the unadhered pad as stretching can occur. Take the time to apply pressure around the entire outside of the pad. Continue installing the remainder of the kit in the exact same manner. Pay special attention to alignment and orientation from one pad to the next.
Once all of the pads are in place, take the time to make sure that all of the edges have been firmly pressed down. That's all there is to it.